Yo guys, welcome back to another Dumb Machine More Freeze video. Okay, so we're doing True Family Royale Stage 3 today. This is the team I've been running. And you'll notice I don't have here Kintos, and it's because I did not pull here Kintos. It's the uh, biggest weak link in all of my summons so far this anniversary. As you can see, I've been really lucky with at least four anniversary units sitting right here at SA or near SA. Uh, I can probably finish off within a, a few weeks or two. Um... Well, I, to be fair, I would say five because Haruhime is only plus three, so I only need two more bonds, which is still fantastic. Anyway, so I don't have here Kinfos. I don't expect anybody to be able to just copy this fucking team flat out. Again, it's modular. I will tell you what they're there for, and you see if you can replace them with someone who does something similar or to a lesser degree. And hopefully that helps. Uh, I'm assuming, I mean, to be fair, I, I feel like even a level 60 here, Kinthos, might outdo Yukina here as the final win damage dealer. I just don't have a single copy of him. Uh, I have tweaked the team somewhat from my original run, from my original score. So I may beat my original score. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to explain what the team does, show you the skill flow, and then get into it. Haruhime is here for the SA gauge charge, as well as the strength buff she provides from her SA. Finn also SA gauge charge. Haruhime from turn one, because this guy actually will do some damage on certain turns. Uh, and I need that healing like from the get-go. Wealth is here for the single target damage buff. Now, originally I used Wiene here for the 20% single target and AoE. Uh, but she also provides minus 40% crit and pen reduction. Uh, which is a bit of a safer, a safer bet. So uh, if you are dying using the wealth. Maybe Wiene would be a better sack. <clears throat> uh, Eyes is here for the 20% single target and AoE damage. Now, um, I chose Eyes because... Sorry, 10% single target and AoE damage. Uh, I chose Eyes over Aphrodite because the bulk of my damage is is going to be done using their skill freeze, which is single target damage. So without her, I lose 10% damage buff on that. Uh, you know, you could replace her with Aphrodite for just AoE damage, but I, I, I feel like I'd be losing out on at least half the damage I would be doing before my SAs. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Bell is here for the physical resist reduction as well as the 100% water damage buff he provides to Aisha with his SA. Yellow Chick Hestia is here for the water resist debuff as well as the 15% strength buff she provides to everyone else on the team. Um, Aisha, Aisha's here because she slaps, man. She's got that 40% water resistant debuff, but she will slap, man. Her SA is going to hit so fucking hard, it's going to be unreal. Um, Apollo is here for the physical resist reduction uh, and his huge stats. Riveria is... Well, that could have gone a different way. Uh, Riveria is here for the SA gauge buff on the second turn because I'm going for a quadruple SA turn 9. Without her, I do not have four SAs turn 9. Hestia is here for the 15% wind and water damage buff. Also, I should have said yellow chick Hestia re re uh, reduces resistance to water and wind. <coughs> Uh, Hesse is here for the water buff. The wind part is not really that important because Yukina is not going to get that 15% buff. Um, she also has an added bonus of an on hit effect where she will increase the party's um, magic resist and physical resist once if you if Riveria is hit. Uh, and then Yukina is here because she's my hardest hitting single target wind unit as well as providing a 35% buff to AoE damage. And then Eyes is here for the additional SA gauge charge. Just making sure I can round out and get that quadruple uh sa turn nine now i'm going to show you the skill flow i'm not really going to explain it too much you can just take a look pause the video if you need to take a look um a couple of points i will throw out there is my aisha is level 80 which means she outspeeds my level 72 haruhime so i have to use t uh, her skill two on turn one instead of uh skill one and that's because skill one has a fast modifier which means she will go before haruhime and i lose out on that 33 percent sa gauge charge from that attack uh, from that skill because she will go before Haruhime. Uh, outside of that, <clears throat> nothing really much to explain. This is it. Um, let's jump in. If anything goes wrong, I'm going to cut out and we're going to go blue part and then move into another run. Okay, so we're in. Uh, I'm going to auto because I'd like it to go uh, pretty fast. I will say there is some RNG to this. The idea is to try and finish it on turn 9. So we're just going to stack everything. We're definitely going to get those uh, essays turn... Um, turn nine the quadruple sa that we're going for it's just it depends how many counters i get as to whether we finish the boss on turn 10 or not because turn 10 is the turn we're going for the finish like the quadruple sa will not be enough to finish this guy because yukina just does not have enough damage um but i can't afford to remove yukina because i need that 35 percent aoe damage buff 
for the iShare essay. Uh, but what really needs to happen is I just need a lot of essays so that on turn 10, I can finish this boss. So there may be some RNG to it. Um, you may have to try it a few times to get your actual score. Um, but I'm, I'm just trying. <laughs> Hopefully it helps. Like, don't get me wrong. There's, like I'm saying, there's no guarantee it's going to work every time. But you get 99 tries. And once you've got the skill rotation and everything down, you can literally just keep autoing until RNG works in your favor. And this uh, is the second run through of this. The first time it finished on turn 11. And that's not what we want. We want that turn 10 finish. Uh, it's obviously not going to score as much as those people that have all of these units and then here can boss. But if you have any of these units, hopefully this helps. Uh, if you don't have Isra or Bell or anything like that, this probably doesn't help. But this is the team that I've been using and it helps. It's helped my familiar a lot. Like my score isn't much less than, you know, others with, say, lower level Bell, lower level Isra, but an MLB here, Kinthos. So we, we really want those counters, though. Like that's what we're working at. Okay, there's the turn eight. Counter, please counter. One. All right, we're going to turn this off because I need to see how much health he has. Uh, and I can pretty much... 17.5 million health left. Um, we may be okay, but let's check. There's the 120 buff of uh, strength. The Yukina comes in with the single target. Plus, she's going to buff herself. I think 90% wind damage she gives herself from this SA. Which is great because next turn she'll be doing single target. So she'll have that additional 90% damage on top. Here is the 100% water buff, and he did 1.6. That's a little bit less. And then this is where the large bulk of the damage is going to come from. 8.1 million, and now we've got to hope that the counters will be enough to finish it next turn. Counter. Everyone needs... Yeah, not enough counters. There's not enough counters here. He has a lot of health left. Like, let's see what we got. He has 4.6 million health. I'm pretty sure I don't think this is going to this is gonna be enough. Physical down, AoE down, single target down, strength magic down, water down. Hmm. Pretty sure this is not going to be enough. So everyone's going skill free. This is why. Alright, so everyone's going skill free. Oh, wait, it's enough. It's enough. It's more than enough. <laughs> okay. I should just hit 2.2 mil on a skill free. That's fucking retarded. That's fucked up. And the score is 29.6 million. Now, listen, if you have all if you're a whale or you know a whale and they've got oh they've got this whole team plus here for force MLB. Yeah, they're probably hitting 35 million. So to hit 29.6 million without the main unit that they expect you to use with an off element, that's fantastic. I don't expect you to be able to build the team exactly like I said, it's modular. Anyway, guys, that is going to be everything. I hope you get a little bit of help out of this. Uh, I'm sorry if my team seems a little bit more overpowered than you're able to do so. Um, but this is all I've got right now. Anyway, that's going to be great. Have a great fucking day, whatever you're doing. I love you guys, and I will catch you in the next one.